Today, we're talking about CVE 2025-6297, a vulnerability in the DPTG DEB tool used by Debian and its derivatives. This flaw can lead to denial of service conditions on systems that repeatedly extract adversarial .db packages, ultimately filling up disk space or exhausting user quotas. The issue affects DPKG versions before commit ET 6BB D4 5D E type 8 Sazero 3 8 C C set 3 C B A 3 5 D Zoo 8 Sazero 4 C 9 8 E 8 2 in Debian. Fedora has also shipped fixes. Fedora 41 upgrades DPKG to version 1.22.20 to address the issue, and Fedora 42 includes the same security patch as part of its DPKG update. CVE 2025-6297 is a directory permission and temporary file sanitation error in DPKG DEB. By not properly sanitizing control archive extraction paths, it allows repeated execution against crafted.deb files to consume all available disk space, causing a local denial of service. When DPKGG Deb extracts the control member of HAA bar DEB into a temporary directory, it assumes that directory cleanup is always permitted. If that directory is placed on a file system with quotas or restricted permissions, malicious packages can force DPKG GDEB to leave behind large, well-compressible files. Automated or repeated extractions then fill the disk or hit quota limits. Over time, this leads to broken package installations, failed upgrades, or full disks that require administrator intervention to clean up. CVE 2025-6297 is not a remote code execution flaw, but its impact can cripple package management on affected systems. Administrators should immediately upgrade DPKG to the patched versions in Debian and Fedora, remove any leftover temporary files, and verify disk usage. Prompt patching will restore the intended safe operation guarantees of DPKG DEB.